We're uh, at the church right now. It is 7 a.m. Nice and early. Guess what day it is? Sunday! I'm not gonna say that. That's so stupid. It's it's Sunday morning and I'm trying to overemphasize uh, being excited and being awake, which I'm not either. Oh, I'm excited. I'm just not awake. So today I am using a new ride symbol. This guy right here. 22 inch K-Con and then I have the old 24 as my secondary ride. I'm gonna do rehearsal and stuff, and after today I'll, I'll give you my in-depth review of this symbol for worship's, worship, uh, it's a struggle to talk today for worship music, so I got rehearsal right now. Sound check right now. I got a bunch of acoustics and guitars in my, my ears. So we just finished rehearsal and it, it went good. Like I said, I'm using two uh, two rides today and they, they sounded good. Um, this guy sounded a lot more washy and airy, which is why I wanted to have him as my main ride cymbal. And then this guy, good old 24, is just a really good crash cymbal. I mean, I, I don't know if I'll actually keep this set up and everything, but it, it's good for now. I'll, I'll elaborate more here in a minute because they're, uh, they're sound checking other microphones and stuff, so it's kind of kind of hectic. Let's go uh, backstage and we can talk about it. All right, so I'm gonna go make coffee because um, I'm tired and I use coffee to uh, to wake you up. It's the the green room to make the coffee. got my coffee. So that ride symbol, one of the main reasons that I got it and I'm trying it is because I wanted something that was a little more airy and like more light than my big 24 inch symbol, which I love. I love my 24 and I've used it for years and I'll continue to use it. But I just wanted something that was a little less heavy and kind of poked through the mix a little bit without like being intrusive. Um, and also the thing's a little bit quieter. So for things where I have to watch my volume, it's great. It was recommended to me and I figured I would, I would give it a shot. And I love the thing, it's it's great so far, so far. Good stick definition, good bell, great crashable features, crashable ride. Yeah, and it pairs good with all my other symbols, which is something that's important when you're buying a, a symbol. It's important to make sure that it pairs well with everything else. It's a party. It's a party in there. That's the, uh, the green room, I came out here to talk to you so that it wasn't as, as crazy and hectic. But the ride symbol, very good, very good. You'll hear some sound clips of it coming up. Good ride and good coffee. Mm, mm hmm Can we give him praise in the house today because he's so good? 
We just got done with the the first service and it went good. The set was, was good. The second song we ended up doing two verses instead of three. So I had to stay in for that entire chorus, which you'll see right here. It was fine, I just had to stick with that instead of doing the original thing, which is I would drop out for the choruses, but it's fine, you just gotta be flexible in those moments and stuff. Waiting for the next service to start, we have 20-ish minutes, but it's going good, can't complain. Again, I love the ride symbol, it's so like airy and like it's just, it's just a change and sometimes you need to just have a change to get different creative juices flowing and, and everything else. I'm also enjoying my, my coffee. All right, gonna finish this and uh, play the, the next service. Hey, what do you uh, what do you think about my new ride symbol? As a front of house engineer or as a friend? But both. <laughs> well, as a front of house engineer, I think it's awesome because it's really quiet. <laughs> and I'm a guy who loves drums in the speakers, not out of the back of the cage. So it really helps uh, me to mix when it's a little quieter and you can hit harder so the tone is really yeah, there. Yeah. Um, as a friend, I don't think it's a very wise choice because it's gonna make me wanna go buy one. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, hey, if I can get Get that, get that symbol tomorrow, I will. Yeah, but. Lee, Lee always put something behind the drum cage because I'm like killing him with my stage volume and everything else. So having a symbol that's quieter is good. It really does make a huge difference. So. Yeah, definitely. Well, you should get one. That set was great. It felt awesome. Yeah, can't complain. We went into a little bit of a, a spontaneous like him moment and I think it worked well. Now I'm just waiting for it to finish up so that I can clean everything up and go home. But that ride symbol, great. Again, I know I've said this like three times, but it fit exactly what I needed. And when you're shopping around for symbols um, or just any kind of equipment, I would kind of look at it on a broad scale and like get something that's gonna be good for multiple applications. So like that ride symbol that I bought, I can use it for a ride, I can use it for a crash, I can even use it for hi-hats if I really wanted to, which I wouldn't live, but I could. And that was one of the reasons I purchased it and decided to make that investment. And same thing with all of my gear and all of my symbols. They all have multiple uses and multiple functions. And I just think it'll make your dollar go further and everything else. But yeah, that symbol, great. Have no complaints at all. Uh, if you're interested in checking it out yourself, there will be a link down in the description to check that guy out. And if you think about getting it, let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk to you about it and answer any questions that you may have. And with that, I'm gonna call the vlog right here. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. 
and hit the like button too. That'll help me and the algorithm and all those YouTubey things. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Actually, there's a uh, there's some like books or CDs right here. So we'll we'll use this guy. I wonder what what is this? Oh, this is a an EP. All right, bye guys. They got snacks here. It's probably one of the best best things about playing at, at church. For snacks and these these fruit snack things, I eat a ton of them. Just because like they're just they're so good. Bye bye.